so I finished the latest uh, See You in the World and I'm transferring it to a video file on my desktop. And I make sure that it flows okay, that there's nothing that is wrong with it, that the audio is as good as it's going to get. Uh, what I've learned making all these videos is that the hardest thing, whoops, if you like what you saw, hold on. Why don't you go up here? Stop. I always uh, one of the things that I'm learning with making YouTube videos is the audio is always a challenge because especially if you're putting together clips from different uh, locations and sometimes using different recording devices, the audio is either strong or not strong. You either get a lot of noise or background noise or or not etc 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 and then obviously I'm not the clearest best speaker that's in existence and I'm trying to learn how not to be monotone and have like highs and lows in my voice I'm trying to do that with the uh, poem videos that I'm starting to put together to teach myself how to be more exciting when I talk. You know, it, all these things. You don't think about all these things when you're putting together videos uh, for the very first time. You just think, oh, I have an iPhone. I'm just gonna start recording things and everything will be perfect. Well, it's not the case. I'm learning. I knew that it, it I knew it wasn't that simple and I'm, I'm learning that it's not even that simple simple or harder simple. It's, it's work. Okay, just a little while ago, you saw me put on these socks, Ugh. but they're not good to go outside with. So we're gonna put on these socks. I know that this is really interesting video stuff, but I think Kim Kardashian has a, a video where she does this. Shake off your feet a little bit. If she, if she, whoops, sorry about that. If she, whoops, sorry about that. If she can do it, why can't I do it? Hold on. <laughs> What's that smell? We got both feet into socks. Now I just need to change my clothes and we will discover where a coffee is and a brioche. Now I'm changing into some street clothes and to keep this PG rated, I've decided, hello, I've decided not to show me changing clothes because, you know, not too many people would like to see that anyway. So I'm finding my jeans and I'm, I'm, I just took off my shorts. Uh, don't look. Stop looking. I actually had to order this Febreze. You can't get this in Italy, but I like to spray it on my curtains and on my sofa. And if I haven't changed the bed sheets for a few months, spray them on the bed sheets. Uh, we need to go find a shirt because the other one I wore for three days. So this is my little shirt closet. This is basically all the clothes that I have. It's a big difference than what I had before. I used to have enough shirts to not have to wear the same shirt entire year. Like I had 350 shirts or more. Okay, I'm gonna put down the phone. Got my shirt on. Now it's time to do something about this. It's time to put some cream on my face, just like this. Okay, see, just like that, I'm ready for a prime time. Okay, so I think I'm finally ready to hit the streets. One thing that I invested in with all this uh, videoing that I'm doing, whenever I use my iPhone, I found this little speaker that I just put in here. I, there, we, there we go. This goes in there. Well, you can't see, but I just, I just insert. Then uh, this uh, goes here. Okay, I, I can't do two things at once. I thought I could. So anyway, this little speaker just helps improve the audio. Got to get some keys. I know this is exciting stuff. But believe me, if I forgot my keys, it wouldn't be so exciting. And then garbage. I always use Macy's bags for garbage. It just makes me feel like I'm still a little bit in touch with home. Oh, let me get some sunglasses. Uh, hold on, I got my Oakleys. You know, always in fashion. Wow, very, very cool. Now I don't actually have to be, uh, have my eyes pointed to the camera because you have no idea what I'm looking at. Got my keys and my Macy's bag of garbage. I like to use Macy's bags for my garbage. It's sort of my way of making a point that the more garbage we buy, 
the more garbage that we have. Wow, it's a beautiful day here, and I'm glad that I decided to get up and get outside for a little while. This is always a decision I have to make. I either walk that way or I walk this way. This way leads to the town. This way leads to my bar in Archella. And more likely than not, at this point, I'm still confused about what to do. So I just walk this way because I can actually change my mind at the corner here and still go downtown because there's two ways to downtown from my flat. What do you think? I feel like I need to go back to the flat a little while to work on another video uh, before I go on my trip. If I go downtown, I'll probably spend more time procrastinating. If I go to Bar Archella, I'll probably have a cafe or a cappuccino and then just head back to the house and work on my video that I'd like to. So these are like the decisions that I have to make. This is garbage at the end of the street. Really easy here. So I, I got to make a decision here in about three seconds. What do I do? Do I procrastinate by going that way? Or do I go get a cafe and sit for a few minutes and go that way? <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? That way, that way, that way, that way, that way, this way, that way, this way. Well, I've opted to go away that I haven't gone for a long time. Right over here, there's a little bit of a story about this wall. It's actually where there used to be graffiti that said the Hotel Vidal. And it was one of the very first story poems that I put together many, many years ago. They've cleaned up the wall. They've repainted over the uh, graffiti which uh, I guess is a good thing, but it's a little bit bittersweet because there was, in the photo that I took that inspired that poem, there was this bike, or maybe a bike that looked very similar because it's been many years. And then there was the whole graffiti on the wall. I'll, I'll include a picture here, obviously, so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I said, it's a little bit bittersweet. It's always nice to see when there's some renewal and regeneration of uh, or rejuvenation of things. Here we're at the back side of the train station and this has been under construction now for about four years. They're building an elevator, I believe, that will come up to this side of the train station. But like I said, it's, it's been a, a long time. But a way of a city trying to renew itself, maybe painting over some graffiti, which is nice. So I understand all that, but it's also a little bit sad to see where one of the uh, first uh, poems that I created, the inspiration for it is gone. But that's, that's why we have the uh, ability to take photos, right? To remember things from the past, even if things change. So um, I have to think about this a little, a little bit. Down these steps is also another place that I took a photo that inspired a poem, and I'll show you. I was just wandering here one day. 98%, take it away and we have 2% left. The smallest degree that makes us all different. I noticed this water fountain and there was a lady, a gypsy, she was just in that scallop up there, just perfectly placed. And I managed to get a photo that really, I think is sort of beautiful in a certain way. And I took the photo and at first I just kept it as full color. 
but over time I changed it to black and white because it just seemed like it needed to be more stripped down to I don't know I don't know what the reasoning was it was just it appealed to me more as a black and white image than as a color image and it inspired me to write a poem that's hydration add back in and we are the same how can it be flesh in our bones cast from similar stuff but with others an immeasurable variance